What's up guys, welcome back to the shop. In today's video, I thought I'd do something a little different. I was thinking about making a cleaver, but I have this piece of ADC RV too. It's a pretty good size, but I was thinking about making a cleaver, not, not the Serbian style chef's knife cleavers that they do, but more of a blockier square type cleaver. I haven't made one of those yet. This hunk of steel is pretty good size for that. So I'm gonna take basically the handle portion of this knife that I already made because I like the handle portion of it. And then I'm just gonna transfer it over and just make a, use this block for the rest of the knife. All right, let's transfer it over. Alright guys, so got the rough profile done, which seems pretty simple considering it was just a big old rectangle and now it's just a smaller rectangle. But I'm going to go on ahead and heat treat it as is, that way I can be sure to keep it as straight as possible. I can grind the bevels afterwards. It's going to be a fairly heavy knife, but I feel that that's the purpose of it. So this is 1 8 inch thick. So some way it'll come off once I do the grind but other than that I think I'm good for heat treat alright so we're out of the temper we had a successful heat treat man this thing's a beast it's very comfortable too chop 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 alright time to clean it up and grind in our bevels I was able to cleanly cut through paper pretty easily. I'm gonna see how well it lasts. I'm trying to cut this two by four. Still cut right through paper after chopping a whole two by four. I think it's a pretty good, it's 
successful heat treat. Nice and solid too. Time for our favorite part of knife making. Time to get it nice and sanded. Make it as beautiful as possible. I don't have a container big enough to do a cleaver like this, so I'm gonna have to do it in here. All right, guys, let's talk handle material. I'm gonna be using this piece of walnut because I think it's pretty. It's not treated. I'll be using a white spacer to give it some nice contrast in between the dark steel and the walnut should pop out very nicely I'm just gonna glue it on like I usually do Alright guys, that's it for this build. This chopper came out awesome. It's going to make a great addition to my kitchen because I'm keeping this guy. Man, I'll put this to a lot of work. So if you like the video, be sure to like the video. Let me know down below if you like this cleaver and maybe give me some possible ideas for down the line. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Go on ahead and click that button right here, right here, a little logo. And you can subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate y'all, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.